heavens, I just realized where we are. Satan's Hollow, why did we come way out here to park? Just to be alone. Silly, I know that, but why this spooky place? The lake would have been more romantic. Sure, and as busy as a meat market selling 10 cents steak. We interrupt the music to bring you a news bulletin concerning the fiery object that was reported to have crashed in the hills east of town an hour ago. Fiery object? What's he talking about? Shh, let's hear this. The object, whatever it was, has not been located yet, although state police are combing the area where it was seen to have come down. No trace of any wreckage or debris has been found. The only witnesses to the mysterious crash of Farmer and his wife, Mr. and Mrs. Henry Stokes, said they were just preparing to retire for the night when they saw a bright flash through their bedroom window. They ran to the window just in time to see what Mr. Stokes described as a giant-sized shooting star dive behind a hill and apparently explode. The witnesses were unable to say exactly how far away the fireball fell, and it is believed that this is the reason the searchers have been unsuccessful in locating it. Stay tuned to the station for further developments as they occur. And now we return to music for your late hour listening enjoyment. What in the world do you think it was? Not from this world, baby. You heard what the man said. It came from the sky. Betty, are you ever serious? Sure, I'm real serious right now. have any money with you? Enough, but I'll tell you, Judy, he's not going to do that to me again. That's what you said the last time. Hey, there's Chris. Gee, he's a little early. Well, I'll see you later. yourself way up there. How's it going, Chris? Oh, couldn't be better right now. You still mad at me, Annie? I never was. I couldn't care less. Yeah, you couldn't. Oh, come on now. You... Oh, hi, honey. Hi, honey. Well, where shall we start? How about a nice drive in the country? Oh, just like that, huh? Are you sure you want to go with little me? Or had you rather see the country with Annie? Now, don't be like that. You know that's all over and done with, don't you? Well, I certainly thought so. But I no sooner turn my back and I see you looking up there with those big cow eyes. Oh, I was just talking to her. Now, come on. You know me better than that. Well, you did date her a while. And I suppose it's okay just to talk. But that's all you'd better do, Chris Johnson. <laughs> all right, okay, let's go. 